The drought in the southwest is bad, and it's getting worse. Everyone's talking about Lake Mead and the Hoover Dam. Oh, sure, that's bad. But what could be worse? This new progression will affect many more people. The Monterey region of Mexico is also going through a severe drought. That's a fairly industrial section of Mexico, and they do use a large amount of water. However, the region is getting less rainfall than usual, and even the groundwater is running low. So water levels in the three dams that supply water to the city are dwindling. In July, levels were so low in the Cerro Prieto Reservoir that no water could be extracted. The Presa Rodrigo Gomez Reservoir, commonly known as La Boca, is also nearly empty. Check out these satellite pictures. So reservoirs have been hitting bottoms in their basins. Taps have been running dry for millions of people in the city of Monterey, where the water shortage was called a matter of national security. And water bills have skyrocketed, if you can even get water. So people have sabotaged pipes that could divert water to other cities. Truck drivers delivering water have been kidnapped. Ranchers in rural areas have lost livestock or sold their herds prematurely because they just can't feed them. Okay, got it. That's bad news for Mexicans. But how is this going to affect more people than the Colorado River running dry? Well, what do they produce in Monterey, Mexico? Beer. And quite a lot of it. Ever heard of Corona? Corona Light? How about Modelo? Pacifica? Believe it or not, they even produce Heineken there. Oh, God, no. It's starting to affect beer production. Now it's time to get serious. Now, all joking aside, these are giant factories that employ a bunch of people. It's not like they can just pick them up and move to a place where there's more water. But what if? One of the actual plans is to move them down south where they get more rain and they're not affected by the drought. I mean, sure, I guess it's possible to move them, but there is a cost. And as usual, the cost is passed on to the buyer. So it appears that beer is either going to be impossible to get because they stopped brewing it, or they move the breweries and then the beer is available, but it costs more. Tough choices. This drought is starting to affect us in unpredicted ways, and I fear that it may just get a little worse over time. Wait until thousands or hundreds of thousands of people start to move from the area and it has a sudden effect on housing prices. Bunches of abandoned homes that no one wants, while at the same time, people are scrambling to buy new houses as fast as possible. You could have housing price increases and decreases at the same time based on region. Weird indeed. This drought is going to have lasting effects. Summer is getting near the end, and the next big thing to watch for is the winter snowpack. If the mountains don't get much snow this year, Summer 2023 is going to be one hell of a show.